Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Today, we're talking Verizon, the network uh, that could potentially be seeing some new uh, technologies brought to the table, some new spectrum, and Verizon really, really wants in. So Verizon does have a very uh, effective network setup. They've got a very densely populated tower uh, concentration, huge density. So lots of tower sites, lots of small cells, and obviously it's really important that they monitor and manage their core access in a very intelligent manager due to their, you know, management, um, or excuse me, to their spectrum position. It's a very low or poor spectrum position relative to the users they have on their network. Only 115 megahertz of sub six gigahertz spectrum. When you have companies like, you know, AT&T that have 175 and a company like uh, the combined Sprint and T-Mobile company, which has over like 320 uh, megahertz of sub six. So obviously something's got to give. Eventually they're going to need more spectrum assets to effectively have a capacitive network. So what's going on right now is Verizon is kind of lobbying to the FCC. Uh, the six gigahertz spectrum unlicensed high end mid band spectrum that could really help mobile network operators like Verizon. They can use this spectrum for their 5G network needs in both the short and the long term. I think it's probably very critical in the short term. Uh, CBRS is a spectrum asset that is currently in the auctioning stage. Uh, we know that Verizon will be bringing huge bags of money for that auction, and uh, but there's limited amounts of spectrum in that band. So C-band will be a big piece of their network moving forward. They'll bring tons of money bags to that auction at the end of the year here in December. But uh, obviously, that won't be rolled out until the earliest, maybe end of 2021, early 2022. And that's best case scenario. So Verizon is urging the FCC to allow for a higher power allowance for transmitting six gigahertz spectrum. Two different six gigahertz spectrum uh, scenarios exist. You have indoor application and outdoor application. Obviously, indoor application could be lower power, but Verizon actually wants to see the outdoor uh, utilization have higher power to the, extend the reach. So uh, you think about like hotspots, small cells, rural broadband, it would work great for this. Now the power levels permitted by the FCC are at 36 dBm and Verizon wants to see this increase to 42 dBm. This way that the channels could have great potential. So you've got 80 megahertz channels, 100 megahertz channels or even more and there's 1200 megahertz of this six gigahertz spectrum. Huge potential there. Now going from 36 to 42 dBm, this increase you know, may not seem like much, but essentially it would double the straight range and quadruple the total area footprint of that spectrum asset. So the question is, in my opinion, why in the world does the FCC not license this stuff so that carriers can purchase uh, these licenses and operate them? But anyways, that's something totally different. Operators here in the US sorely need this spectrum. Verizon is fighting for the power to get kicked up. I don't know if this is going to be a health concern, but in my opinion, I would love to see this spectrum get pushed with a little bit more power, seeing how exponentially more effective it becomes with its range and utilization. You guys let me know what you think. I mean, Verizon is already wanting to, they're, they've already filed to the FCC. They want to test devices on the spectrum and they want to see the power get kicked up. It would be huge for them. It actually would be huge for any company because it is unlicensed. You let me know what you think is going to happen. Do you think the FCC allows Verizon, uh, you know, to get the access to start testing devices? I personally think they will. Uh, the FCC does seem very friendly to wireless tele uh, telecommunications companies. And do you think that they're going to agree to Verizon and say, yeah, we'll, we'll allow you guys, uh, we'll allow the power to be kicked up in outdoor applications? I personally think it's going to happen. My personal opinion. But you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Uh, if you want to help out the channel, you could do so in some different ways. Of course, there are links for donations. You can rate the video, give it a thumbs up. 
up share it to all your social media also if it's your first time here consider subscribing and activating that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the smt and here's some other videos for you to check out uh they are right here uh, if you're not ready to leave the channel and uh that's pretty much it anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of the day do check out some of the links in the description box as well the podcast is back we've got that sneak tech twitter handle periscope lives all those great things check out the links down in the description box anyways have a great rest of the day and a great weekend i am the smt and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace